So in this problem, we have two rings, one that has a positive charge of, phi, uh, of, of this, and one that has the negative charge. And um, they're trying to affect this particular point, um, and we want to know when does the electric field equal zero there. So if this was positive, then we know that the arrows pointing towards, uh, towards this thing would be in this direction, coming from all points. And so we can see how everything would just kind of cancel out, and we just get this positive charge in this direction, right? And then uh, in the negative direction, it would be pointing towards these, like this. But we can see how, again, the same thing, it would kind of cancel out. And then we get only charges in this direction. And these two are supposed to cancel each other out. So we can start looking at the equation of k, uh, q over r squared. And, um, that, and then we would think, okay, if we had an angle here of theta, then it would be um, the uh, adjacent side, and so that would be cosine. Okay, and so now we can start thinking um, about uh, the positive side and the negative side. So this would be maybe E1 and then E2. So we could think that uh, this would be negative K, um, Q over R squared cosine theta. And now let's start plugging in our R squareds for these things, because on, the, on one side, we have R squared being, um, we'll start with this positive, which is the smaller one. We got a R and then the 2.6 R. So R squared plus 2.6 squared R squared. Kind of do all that, and then you get R squared equals 7.76 r squared and so you get that the hypotenuse is equal to um r is uh 7.76 r okay so that's the hypotenuse and that's r squared so we can go um e1 equals k and we already know what q is that's this one so q divided by uh the r squared which is this part 7.76 r squared all right and then now we have the cosine theta. So let's figure out what cosine of theta is. Cosine theta is going to be adjacent, which is 2.6 r, divided by the r squared, which is in this direction. And that was this one, right? Um, well, it's actually just the um, hypotenuse. So that's the square root of 7.76 r. And these r's are going to cancel, and we're going to be left with the cosine of theta over here. Uh, 2.6 divided by the square root, 7.76. Alright, and then we can say that E2 is equal to the negative K uh, Q, this is small Q, divided by, what's the new R's over here? Um, R squared in the second case is going to be equal to... Um, 2.61r, 2.61r squared, in parentheses, plus the um, regular 2.6r squared, in parentheses. And if we were to solve for that, r squared is equal to, um, uh, this, would, this would turn out to be 13.5721r squared. Just kind of multiply that out. And then you get the smaller r, is equal to uh, thir the square root of 13.5721 r. All right, this is what we're gonna plug in to this bottom side um, versus the r squared, 13.5721 r squared. And then it is the, um, the hypotenuse and the cosine theta, right? Cosine theta is gonna be equal to, again, 2.6, R divided by, this time it's the hypotenuse, is 13.5721 R. These will cancel, and you'll be left with this. So this is what you plug in over here, 2.6 divided by square root of 13.5721. So the idea is that we're supposed to add these two together. So K, and then we'll plug in 5E to the negative 6 divided by 7.76 R squared. 2.6 divided by 7.76 and we're going to subtract the k q over 13.5721 r squared times 2.6 divided by the square root of 13.5721 and this is supposed to be equal to zero so if these two things like 
if we rearrange this equation maybe like that, then we can say, okay, maybe the k's will cancel, the r's will cancel, the 2.6's are even going to cancel, and uh, we're left with 5e to the negative 6 divided by 7.76, uh, square root of 7.76, um, equals q over 13.5721, square root of 13.5721. And now we can just kind of solve for q real quick. So we would say that uh, phi e to the negative 6 over 7.76 square root of 7.76. And then we can multiply the top also by 13.5721 square root of 13.5721. And we'll get, uh, yeah, so q equals 1.15. Uh, e to the negative 5 coulombs. And so there we go. Not too bad.